Hey, 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 y'all. My name is Ebony. I'm the CEO of Ebony's Mobile Notary, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters, the owner-operator of Business Rx, Breathable Lessons, Boss Events, and She Flips. What is up? What's up? I've been trying to do this video for a minute. I keep having to come back and refilm because I'd be like, yo, I don't like the energy that I'm bringing. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. So just stick around. Hear me out. Let's talk about short-term sacrifices equaling your long-term goals. A lot of times, I all y'all always hear me say that. One of the goals that I had at the beginning of the year was to get my bills back on auto pay. There was a point in time in my life where I had all my bills on auto pay. I didn't have to worry about looking at no bills because they was getting paid automatically. And I haven't been able to get back there. Um, I made some mistakes, spent some money wrong. Y'all been seeing me go through my journey. And officially, I made that goal. So this Friday, when I get paid, I will be able to put all my bills back on auto pay. And I only have a little bit of debt. And I'm not talking about student loans, y'all. They, they never get paid they just they just never getting paid um <laughs> but i'm officially to the point to where my debt will be paid off come this friday um i'm still working on building credit so of course i'm using some of my um secure credit cards and things like that but a lot of that debt i have one last thing to pay off um this friday for 750 dollars and my debt will be all paid off other than my student loans. And it might, you know, I'll do a refresh of getting a new credit report just to see, you know, I've been going through the personal credit and building business credit all at the same time, just to see where I'm at. According to where I'm at, I have one more thing to pay off is $750. Um, I'll have the $750 for that on Friday. I'm going to pay that off and that'll be it from there i just need to be able to maintain and save um so that i can continue to live a comfortable life um again that included i haven't gotten my eyebrows done i've been cutting my own hair i don't have fingernails on my toenails are scraping the ground okay so i had to make some realistic cutbacks to get to where i am does it mean that i have to stay here no 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 i'll be able to get my nails done my feet done i just chose to take care of my responsibilities up front and for me it worked out better the way i did it you know where i was just pouring all of my money into paying my bills paying my bills not getting anything for myself everybody goes oh you got to do something for you I didn't. I didn't. I ain't had to do nothing for me. I was totally fine. Everybody's like, oh, you didn't do anything for your birthday? I know, because this here is the greater of the gift. My peace is the greater of the gift. We are living in scary times, and we kind of got to hunker down on our money a little bit. Um, so I'm glad that I made those choices, right? And then if you go, oh my gosh, I wish I could be like that. I wish I could get my life together. It was not easy. And again, short-term sacrifices for long-term goals. Y'all know that I am working full-time. I'm not leaving that job. That job is gravy. I do run multiple businesses. My time is very, very limited and I don't have time for the shits because I've got stuff to do. Needless to say, all of that is paid off. So let's talk about some of the things that we do in these businesses. If you guys have been following me, you know I just went on a whole rant about I'm not giving out no more notary appointments because I'm having too many mistakes. I'm not gonna be able to move up and be a sign and service. All of that is definitely true. I can't handle that pressure. When I say the way I was giving out these signings and the pressure that it put on my chest and for every single one of them to come back with those errors, I can't, I can't, can't do it, not going to do it. Um, again, like I was saying, I pay the notaries up front. So when they do come back with errors, if I don't ever get paid, then I'm just giving out money. I'm just giving out money. So I've definitely dropped the whole, I'm going to be a signing service because um, I'm not. Um, maybe I'll give out some stuff. I know I gave something to Uncle Griff the other day, which thank you, Lord, that he was able to do that for me. 
um, cause I do trust him to do a signing and do it correctly and appropriately. Um, I did give out a general notary. I pray to God that she did that right. It was a North Carolina title. I kind of went through it with her to kind of tell her exactly what she needed to do and how North Carolina titles like for you to have a stamp over the words, you don't put an attachment with it. Um, and I think that was all that I gave out. Everything else I did everything else I've been doing. And then now I'm just turning it down. And it's so unfortunate because it's so much work out here. And I would love to be like, hey, call this notary, but I can't, I can't. So there went that. Um, but I've also had an increase in apostilles and authenticating documents. That has just been amazing for the increase that I've had with that for the month of June, I've gotten 11 and I just got back all of my documents. Well, one is going out. My number 11 is going out today. But um, I just got back all of my documents from all the documents that I had authenticated. I had Alabama. I had Florida. I had Georgia. I had Virginia. And the one I have, again, is Virginia. Um, I've got to drop off the last two documents. I'm getting ready to go and do that. Drop them off to the clients um, this morning. That's where I'm headed out to. Uh, yesterday, I did some estate planning, which was really, really good. Really, really good. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to go into this week. We know that this week is a short week. Um, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm off until the following Monday. So I'll be doing some things around the house. I'll probably, you know, do some things for my business as well. Um, then what else do we have on breathable no boss events um did get a new photo booth did buy a new photo booth i'm very very happy with my new photo booth i'm so happy um with the product they got here in like a week i've already gotten a booking for the new photo booth so which is good it's in august my august is jam-packed with weddings and photo booths and that's how it's supposed to be that's really how it's supposed to be in my august i mean my july is light because i am doing some vacationing and just doing some stuff so all of that is great um can't wait to see what this comes um again short-term sacrifices for long-term goals Let's talk about lessons. I used USPS for some of my documents that I had authenticated or apostille. I'll never do that again. I had used it before, not an issue. Everything came back fine. Everything was fine until it wasn't. Um, normally I use UPS or either I use FedEx. Um, I ended up somehow being in the post office and was just trying to offload some documents and used USPS. Um, and not that everything wasn't fine, it just took too long. So I sent those documents off on the 17th of June, sent them off on the 17th. They didn't come back until the 29th. That was too long because I sent some documents off on the 24th and they came back on the 27th of June. Three days, 10 days. That was too long, definitely was too long. And I sent it priority. It was supposed to have been two days, let them tell it, it was two days, but never again will I use USPS, never again. And so if you are doing the pastilles, I'm not sure if you're using USPS, but for me, I won't do that again. Um, I'll continue to use the FedEx and the UPS and I'll just increase my price before I do the um, USPS again. So that was definitely a lesson that I learned um, this time around. And it's something that I should have just never had done in the first place. Something I should have just never had done. I had not been using USPS. Why did I start trying to do it now? It was just moving too fast, too soon with a bunch of documents. And I was just trying to get stuff out my hands because I also had marriage licenses. It was a lot going on and definitely something that I own full responsibility for. Thank God the person doesn't need the documents until August and it's just July, but still, still, it was still, my heart was pounding. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, my stomach was hurting, you know, like just 
it was a lot and it didn't even have to be that. It did not have to be that if I just would have done the right thing, which would have been using UPS or FedEx. Far as my CPR classes, I see a lot of people are inquiring about how to become a CPR instructor, blah, blah, blah. Um, but when I get to telling them what it is and what those fees are, like I said, I ain't gonna gatekeep. Yeah, it cost. It definitely cost. And then the one girl was like, well, I'm gonna take my business credit and where is that? And she's like, oh, I ain't started it. You act like you get in $20,000 tomorrow. I don't know who's telling y'all that, but y'all go, go get it, go get it, go get it. Because go get it. I ain't get $20,000 tomorrow, but go get it. I don't know, I don't know. But one thing for sure, I've been working on that personal credit results baby results i've been working on that business credit baby results results and we just doing life and i've not been a gatekeeper again i can help you i have the one-on-ones we got the courses the ebooks all of those things are available for you to do the things that i'm doing but please make sure that you understand this is not overnight this is short-term sacrifices for long-term goals. This is blood, sweat, and tears. This is I'm tired all the time. This is I'm working seven days a week. This is grinding and grinding and grinding and seeing things fall apart right in front of you. Stuff happening that you just never would have imagined. Then things blowing your mind because you're getting so much business. It's back and forth. And you got to be ready to go on that up and down journey, up and down journey for the fruits of your labors to pay off. And that's where I am. Like, it's just so happened that it's starting to all pay off. All right, y'all, I'm getting out of here. I got to go drop off these documents. I told this man I'd be at his house at 930 and I'm going to do him one better. I'll be there at nine. Bye.